Hi, my name is Barb Sackle. Today's video is made possible by QuiltWoman.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cut up a panel into nine pieces for my new pattern, Modern Windows. After that, I'll be showing you a little shortcut that I use on the corners so that there's no mitered corners and there's no half square triangles. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so here is our panel laid out in front of us. And on the pattern, I know that I need four and a half inches from this side. The center area, I need 12 and a half inches. And then on this side over here, I need another four and a half inches. So in order to start, first I'm going to get a visualization of where my center is going to fall. So I'm going to take a long ruler and I'm going to put it in four and a half inches from the edge. And if you don't have a nice edge like I do right here to measure from, cut yourself a new edge on the panel and you're going to measure in anywhere between four and five inches, um, depending on the size of the panel and where you want to center your focus. Now to get an idea of where my focus is, I'm going to take a 12 and a half inch ruler and I'm just going to center, uh, like you can see the lighthouse here is going to be centered in my um, middle panel. So I'm going to measure in four and a half inches on this ruler and does that feel like I have a nice center for the middle part of my panel and I feel like it does. Now on the other side, I'm going to need another four and a half inches. I'm going to lay this ruler just for a visual. Okay, so now by laying out the three rulers, I have determined that four and a half is indeed the uh, line that I'm going to cut because the 12 and a half inch centerpiece that I need makes my motif centered nicely. So I'm going to put these two rulers over here. I'm going to put my four and a half inches along the edge or your clean edge, and I'm going to cut the center part. Now, I'm going to scoot my ruler down to this end, matching up my cut piece here, and I'm going to cut this end of the panel, and then I'm going to scooch my panel down because my cutting mat is not big enough to handle the whole panel, so I do have to cut in pieces. And all I'm going to do is line my ruler up with my already cut edge. And let's do that. And that's going to be our final cut for our first piece. And I'm going to take our first piece and lay it to the side and get ready for the center cut, which I know is 12 and a half inches. Now we're going to cut right off our um, cut line that we just did because we know that that's nice and even. So I'm going to take my 12 and a half ruler, put it on my first cut line, and I'm just going to go up the quilt in this manner. And it's going to give me that 12 and a half inches that I need. So I'm going to continue taking my ruler up the panel so that whole center piece is going to be 12 and a half inches and then of course our last piece is already cut by default so that's how we're going to make our first two cuts now comes third and fourth cuts finally to divide this up into the pieces that we need so I'm going to lay this, put this over to the side for a minute. Now I'm going to get a visual. I know I need 24 and a half by 12 inches. Well, we've already created the 12 and a half inches going this way. And I said 12, but I meant 12 and a half. So this is going to give us, uh, again, an idea of how we're going to center this. Now at the top, I need three and a half inches, so I can't go up too high because I, like I said, I know I need three and a half inches up here. So I'm going to take this to the edge, and I know that this is already centered in my piece, so I'm more, uh, really more interested in the centering up here. So I need three and a half inches at the top, 24 and a half inches 
which is the width of this ruler, and finally I need six inches down here. And you can see that I'm giving you plenty of leeway to move this whole um, measuring up and down so that your motif it can be focused correctly. So I am going to go up a little bit higher. And notice how my 12 and a half is just measured. This is going to give me the perfect per perpendicular line. So there's my first cut. And now I know that I need the center piece, 24 and a half inches, which again, I'm going to lay my ruler down like that. I'm going to come on the other side of the table and I'm going to use my second ruler, my 12 and a half inch ruler, just to move that out of the way and cut my center piece. Now my center piece is cut and um, all done. Now it's all these little side pieces that we need to cut uh, to match your center piece. Now I'm going to bring my side pieces back into play because I want the side pieces cut exactly where this was cut. So I am going to scoot this over and work on this side first. And notice I haven't cut the side pieces to absolute size yet. Let me match this up. Okay, right like that. If I match this up to my two cuts, cut one and cut two, I can go ahead with my ruler and just continue that cut. Match the ruler up to the side here and continue that cut. So now that matches perfectly. I'm going to come down here and continue that cut. Now this side matches perfectly. You can see the water is going to match. And now I've got my three side pieces which I will cut two sides in, uh, after I get all the edges cut. I'm going to move this piece back over into the middle, bring back my, my other outside piece, and again I'm going to line it up, and that's going to be right where my cut is. So you can see that here I'm going to follow the edge of my fabric, and cut that, and here I've got this lined up, I'm going to follow the edge of my fabric. And now I have the nine pieces that I need. Now the last thing I need to do is cut the outside pieces down to the uh, size that I need. So I can get rid of my center section and look on my directions and see what my top section needs to be cut at. Okay, top. It is number two, three and a half inch high by 12 and a half cross. And we know that we've already done the 12 and a half inch cross, so we're going to measure three and a half inches from that center cut. Throw that piece away, and here is our center top window. These side pieces. Again, going across the top. They are three and a half inches high by four and a half inches wide. So we're going to take that three and a half inches high by four and a half inches long. So we are going to. Okay. Three and a half inches high by four and a half inches long. And here is our next top window. So we have that all matching nicely. And this again is three and a half inches high by four and a half inches long. And this is it. And this is our third piece. So, so far, here is what our panel is looking like. These are all going to be the pieces that we border. So I'm going to continue cutting my 
the rest of my pieces to fill out one, two, three, four, five more pieces to fill out my panel, and then I can start working on my panel. Okay, so you can see that I have all my pieces cut out and laid on my design wall. And at this point, I can start making the window treatment that goes around each panel piece. Remember I told you I have a little trick for you so that there's no miter in corners or no half square triangles? Well, I use square in the corner technique for this. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your long strip of fabric that um, goes on the top or the bottom. And you're going to take a little square, put it in the corner, sew on the line, and flip it open. And that's what's going to give you your corner treatment. Now I do have a video out on this and it's called square in the corner technique so go ahead and check out that video and it'll give you all kinds of tricks on how to do this. So once I have my two pieces sewn on the ends that becomes my mitered corner and that's our little trick. You don't have to tell anybody what we're doing. So that's going to go on the top and bottom and you can see all I have to do is put on the plain sides and then attach the top and the bottom and I have my whole attic window already configured um, fast and easy. So let me finish the rest of this quilt and I'll show you the finished product. But anyway, here's all the nine pieces and the uh, sashing and the window panes I put around everything. And so this is done. Uh, and remember, any panel can fit into this, this windows. Be sure to check out many more of my other videos. Uh, maybe the backing, how to add on uh, borders if this quilt was bigger, or in, especially the square in the corner technique. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again real soon.